Hello everyone, welcome back to GSM Tennis. I'm Steve Antritz. Uh, I'm really excited to get to this lesson today because uh, if, you, if you can start utilizing this stuff, your game is improving, it's improving fast. That's what we want here at GSM. Uh, we want your game to keep improving and keep taking it to the next level. And if you're on pattern sequences with four strokes, uh, you're definitely improving. So I'm really excited to present this lesson. And uh, if you haven't seen our videos that are before this, that kind of walk into this and lead you into this, uh, go check those out. There is the five must-have forehands. Uh, those are the first shots that I would really work on. Because if you have those five, then you're able to build into these other videos that we watched. So the five must-have forehands, do that first. And then after that one, I want you to look for the pattern sequences with two strokes. Uh, that's just a building block to start building points, winning points. And then I did another lesson uh, on pattern sequences with three strokes. And that's really where the pros are at. A lot of pros, pros do three shot sequences uh, because that's the good medium between being planned but not being too far ahead planned. And the reason I'm presenting four strokes is because you still utilize four stroke sequences. It's just not as popular as three stroke, three stroke sequences. Uh, these are the most popular ones. Uh, you're gonna love them, I love them. I utilize them all the time. My players utilize them all the time. Uh, I've charted tons of matches where players are using this and you want to use this in your own game. So again, I'm really excited, I hope you are too. Let's get into it. Our first one, so four strokes here, uh, meaning you gotta have that consistency to play. We're going cross court deep twice. As you see the little two, that means cross court deep twice. Then we're going down the line deep and then we're going back cross court hard, cross court hard deep. Uh, let me draw it out for you. Again, you're gonna love this one. This is the first one I want you to work on because this one, it, it just I see players using it all the time. So here you are on the deuce court. I'm always gonna start you off on the deuce court because that's where most of us hit our forehands. You're gonna start here. First shot is gonna go cross court deep. All right, so you're just getting that regular, just nice, easy cross court ball. Uh, this should be your bread and butter shot, cross court deep. You need to have the shot. One of those must have forehands. Go check out that video. So that's your first shot. Then you're, we're assuming your opponent goes back. So then you hit that same ball. Second one, back cross court deep. Again, you just seen if your opponent has that consistency. Once they return that one, that third ball. Now we're changing it up. Now we're going down the line deep. So we take it down here just to change it up, get them moving to another direction. Lots of times when you change that direction, your opponent doesn't see it coming or doesn't get ready and gives you a weak ball back. So that set that, let that ball back, when you hit it down the line, when they bring that ball back, that next shot, I wanna see you rip it back cross court deep. This is probably the easiest four stroke sequence you can have, yet it's probably the most effective. Cross court deep, cross court deep, down the line deep, they can hardly get there, and then boom, you rip it cross court. I love this one. Utilize it, utilize, utilize it. Let me know how it works. I think you're gonna love it. So again, that's the first one. Very effective, like I said, because uh, it builds on that natural cross court deep ball, which is again, the butter shot of most players and you need to have it. Our second one, uh, I like this one too. Again, we're, we're utilizing that cross court deep shot because that's the most popular shot we need. So this time, you're going cross court deep three times in a row, then down the line deep. So you can see where you need to have that consistency. So here we are in the deuce court. We take the first ball, cross court deep, and then we do it a second time. And then we do it a third time. So three balls cross court deep. You might ask yourself, well, isn't that too repetitive? Isn't my opponent gonna get used to that? And the answer is no, because they've done studies where people love to change the ball on that third shot. They go cross court deep, cross court deep, and then they go down the line, which we did in our first one. But the studies show that people love to change it on their third shot, the third time. So you'll see that most people, when you're playing them, they will almost always change on the third shot. And try this out in your own matches, watch it. So what we're doing here is we're trying to go against the statistics. If we go cross court deep, cross court deep, 
Sometimes our opponent is going to expect us to go down the line because most people do. Most people change it up on that third ball. But we're going to change it up on them and actually do the same thing and go cross court deep again. And then, because they're not expecting that, they're going to give you that sort of weaker ball and then you're going to go down the line deep on that fourth ball. I'm telling you, this works. I have my players around all the time. It, it works great because people don't expect it. It goes beyond expectations. Start utilizing that one. You'll be shocked at how effective it is. I guarantee it. Notice again, we're building on that cross court deep ball. All right, so our third one. I'm really excited to present this one to you because this one's really changing everything up. We're moving around, we're, we're getting you to move. Uh, we're just taking you all over the place. So here we go. Look at what we're doing. The first shot again is that cross court deep ball. So here you are on the deuce court. You're hitting it cross court deep. Our butter shot, you need to have it. Must have, check it out. So we have that cross court deep ball, but as you might guess, our opponent doesn't always take it back cross court. We need to be able to handle when they go down the line. Well, if you get it deep, they're not gonna do much with that ball. So, sometimes they're gonna go down the line with it. And you say, well, isn't that gonna go to my backhand? No, it's not. If you watch my other videos, I talk about this too. You need to have the forework. You need to get there and you need to take it with your forehand. So what do I mean? I want you right here if you see them going down the line, I need you to reposition yourself over here at this spot. And what are you going to do? You're going to take an inside out ball. So this ball is traveling down here. You're going to rip it cross court deep for an inside out shot. Again, one of the five must have forehands. All of these are utilizing the five must have forehands. So here you go, you're taking it hard to their backhand, which is probably their weaker shot. And lots of times, because it's a weaker shot, they're just gonna naturally go back cross court. So you're gonna almost, you're gonna reposition yourself in the center, or close to the center, not all the way to the center, but then they're gonna bring it back to you. And you're basically in position, right, to hit another forehand. So from this same position, basically, now you're gonna take it inside in. Awesome shot here. It's, it's a short distance. You're making your opponent move left, right, left. You're getting them to run. You're hitting great shots. And then here, because they're still on the run, they're going to want to go naturally cross court because that's, e that's the easiest shot for them to hit. So then they're hitting this ball cross court, and you reposition yourself over here. So we're back on this side. Oh, I accidentally did that in green. Let's do it in blue. So you, here you are, receiving that cross court, bar, cross court ball, and what are you doing? You're taking it down the line deep. I love this one. Why? Because it's utilizing your full work, it's use, utilizing your forehand the whole time, your strength, and you're making your opponent move cross court, cross court, cross court, cross court. You're making them tired. I am not lying, this is probably one of my favorite sequences. I use it all the time. Go use it. It will work. Last thing I want to say, when it comes to four shot sequences, you are looking to finish the point. Check out the other videos. Not all shot sequences you're looking to finish point. Here, you are finishing the point. When it comes to that fourth shot, boom, you're taking it and you're winning the point. You are going for it on that fourth shot. And that's going to allow you just to keep building and learning how to win points. So again, these four shot sequences, start utilizing those. Give me a comment below letting me know how are these working? What are you having trouble with? And what exactly is working about them? Maybe you're able to do the whole thing, except you're just not able to finish. Let me know that. Put that down below so I can know that and come up with some good, better stuff for you on how to finish these. Again, use those. Leave a comment below. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you like this. Like us on Facebook if you're on there. Uh, and if you haven't, go check out our website, gsmtennis.com. This is where we're posting all our stuff for the blog and where our community is making comments. Other than that, I hope this is awesome for you. I hope you utilize it. Let me know again. Uh, and until then, have fun, have some great tennis, and I'll see you next time. Bye.